Hello everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I end up working my smacking. That's terrible. Anyway, what I want to talk about for a minute, I know I'm supposed to not. Yeah. Well, I like I said, when I get inspired by one of my guides to say something, I'm gonna say something. I want to talk about two things and two subjects. First is the reason for the dark night. People go, oh, what the hell, right? Why is my world crumbling down? Why am I having my tower moment? Why is everything just going to shit? And I'm so miserable and unhappy. And um, part of your dark night, the reason is to break you down and to build you up, to be the light worker that you're supposed to be. It's almost like if you're not on the right path, the universe is gonna put you on the right path, even if it means destroying your world to get you on the path. Because the, the path you're on is the wrong one, apparently. That's what I was, I was, I can't even begin to tell you where my path was wrong or right or how it, how I fit into everything because there's a lot that I don't know about and it's kept from me and that we're just mortals, right? We're just, we're, you know, we're angels in, you know, in our little meat sacks, but we are light workers and going through the pain is to bring you out into the light. Because you're supposed to go, and that, that'll that touch into the second part that I'm going to talk about, is location. Where do you want to live? Where do you want to be in the world? It's that simple. Where do you want to, where is the ground that you want to stand on? And call your own, the community you want to call your own, the town, the state, the country. You're free to go anywhere in the world. Go there. And in my place, you're going to know it's different for everybody. I've traveled around in different climates. But for example, I've lived in the desert, you know, doing this. And it was beautiful. It was wintertime, so it was a little volatile, but at the same time, it wasn't 110 degrees. It was 70s, 60s. It even got colder in the 40s. I mean, Grand Canyon was like 14 degrees. I was freezing my ass off. Let's, let's be honest. So the desert can be rough, but there's but it's a very you know if you love the heat and love the cold you're gonna love the desert because it has both, but it's also a dry climate like Montana, amazing but very desolate. Very you're gonna feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere when you're out in Montana, especially when you lose cell signal and you've got no reception. It does that Mon Yeah, it's out there. You might as well be in the Arctic, right? Montana's badass. Uh, North and South Dakota, Nebraska was interesting. I didn't, I just drove through it, but it was beautiful. It was a snowstorm, so I was driving through Nebraska. You know, I'd see glimpses of it. It's beautiful. Like I said, it was, you know, it's part of South Dakota, so, you know, you got to look at the, the topography. It's all kind of the same in a lot of ways. Eastern Colorado is just flat desert, high desert, nothing. If you like that, fly kite. Um, the, and the western Colorado is insane. Mountains, I told you about the million mile that scared the shit out of me, but it was early spring and everything was frozen just after a huge blizzard. So everything was frozen and avalanche warnings and it was the road was all iced up and people were freaking out. It was crazy and there was like, literally, if you ever see it, there's it's just two lanes and a drop off. And people are driving RVs. I'm like, oh my god. The RV that was in front of me was insane. It was like going two miles an hour. I, I didn't even look. I just I had to get around him because I was like, dude, I can't, I'm not going to go do this three hour drive going two miles an hour behind an RV that's freaked out, which I can't blame him. But anyway, so pick your climate. Um, Utah's high desert, pretty rocks, but it's, it's desert, dirt. Pretty rocks, but dirt. Um, Southern California, um, California itself is an amazing climate if you can avoid the politics or the whatever. Um, the Redwoods, if you could live in the Redwoods, yes, build the tree house, right? So far, I'm really digging the coast in the summertime, right? I mean, maybe, in, you know, in the middle of winter, Venice Beach is the place to be, right? I don't want to be that, maybe Santa Barbara. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out, but I love the ocean. I'm sitting there. And this is long as I've been, you know, I've, since, I'm sorry, since I went up from Montana and I hauled ass to the coast because I knew that heat wave was coming. So I, I hit the coast and ever since I've, you know, I just, I was born at the ocean. I love the ocean. I mean, it's almost like a therapeutic just being here. And I, 
it's like hard to be pissed off or angry or you know right now I got three bucks in my pocket and I got maybe six gallons in my tank but I am a complete piece of got paintings to sell them. I'm good. But yeah, so I think I might just be hanging out at the ocean. But that's beautiful. That's the beautiful thing about living where I live. On the continent I live on. Washington, Oregon, and California are one big coastline. It's all beautiful. So I can literally just drive up and down the coastline and just be mobile and just live it and love it and surf and now, anyway, I'm just sorry, I didn't mean to ramble about me, but I'm just saying, this is what you need to think about. This is, that's me, right? This is my journey. This is where I'm going to be hanging out for a minute. Find your journey. Find your place. There's oceans wherever you're at around the world. Find a beach somewhere and hang out if you have to. Or a forest. I love going to the forest. Streams, water, it's, you know, therapeutic. So, do what you can. Find your way out. As far as the dark night... I'm going to be blunt. You're going to have to love yourself. You're going to have to pull your fucking self off the floor every day. You're going to have to wash your ass every day. You're going to have to put yourself in the shower, scrub yourself off, put on some clean clothes, and go out and breathe fresh air. You don't have to, you don't even talk to people if you don't want to. Just go out to a park and just sit and breathe. Go find a place where there's nobody at for a minute and just breathe. And just find some kind of space where you can be and not think about shit. And learn to love yourself because that's the biggest thing I'm telling you I can harp on forever love yourself and, what, and you, you don't because if you're going through the dark night you've obviously made some fucked up choices on behalf of yourself so and I, I'm guilty of that too that's why you know it took so long my process was forever that's why I said 10 years of just man that's why I love the count of Monte Cristo as I feel so much like that where I've been you know self-imposed but it's still prison and it was torture I wasn't getting beaten by some asshole once a year, but the point was, it was it was torture, and I finally escaped, and now I'm free. Ironically, I'm at the ocean, just like that movie was pretty much based around the sea. I love, I love the ocean. Go find your bliss. Go find your happy. Find the location where you're going to come out of your dark night and be a light for the world. You can heal a community just by you being there, and I mean that sincerely. When you, like I said, when you glow up, when you become, you, when you love yourself and you become that glowing fucking wand of amazement, that human being, you're going to glow. Your aura is going to be off the fucking charts and everybody's going to want to be around you. And you're going to walk into a town and you're going to light it up like Tu Wong Fu. You know what I'm saying? You're going to, you're going to be amazing. So good luck in your journey. Love and light. And yeah. Rock it. Yes, baby. Here you go, Mike. I'm going to give you a slice of what I'm going to be hanging out with for a while. Find your bliss, people. That's all I got to say. And love yourself. Because you are worthy. And as soon as you figure that out, that's part of your superpower. Loving yourself is a superpower. And that's why most people don't. And it's sad. Because they'd be rocking it if they, did, if they didn't. So, love yourself. And love the light. And be happy. Love you. Okay, bye.